If you are like many, you are wondering, why do they put in all of those tricky silent letters into the English language? And you are most certainly correct because it can be so challenging for non-native English speakers when they are learning the English language and they see these letters that aren't pronounced. In this video, I want to share with you just five of those words with tricky silent letters. Previously, I gave you 10, you loved it. Now let's give you just a bite size today to give you the time to practice before our next video. I'm Jane Lance, founder of Corporate Speech Solutions, and it is my goal to accelerate your career success by building your pronunciation, your leadership skills, your executive presence, and more so you can communicate up the corporate ladder. So let's get started. The word knock, knock on the door. That word begins with a silent K, just like many others in the English language. So pronounce it with me, knock. There is no K at the beginning of the pronunciation of that word. Word number two, very similarly, knit. Knit one, curl two. There is a K at the beginning. You may be tempted to spell it N-I-T, but you would be wrong. In our spelling, it is important that you put that K, K-N-I-T. Thank the English language from way back for these tricky silent letters. Let's move on and let's get away now from those initial K's and let's go to the word doubt. Doubt. Do you hear a B anywhere in that word? I don't, but it's there. Again, be sure that you, you know, look and see how it's spelled. Practice pronouncing it. You pronounce it one way, you write it another. And my goal is that you do both perfectly after watching this video. I doubt you will ever mispronounce this word again. Next word is tricky. Island. Island. Do you hear an S in that word? No, but when you write it, there is most certainly an S, but we don't pronounce it. That is why we call it tricky silent letters. Do not pronounce that S, so practice with me. Island. One more, and I might have saved the toughest for last. So look carefully. Pneumonia, pneumonia. We do not pronounce that initial P. But yes, when you're writing it, you must write that initial P. Pneumonia, an illness you don't want. I'm going to repeat those five new tricky silent letters. I want you to practice them Practice writing, practice saying them. With each one that you become comfortable with, it will help you towards that road of building your professional confidence. So let's go over them again. Word number one, knock. There is no pronunciation of that initial k sound. Word number two, Knit. I want to knit you a sweater. No pronunciation of that initial K. Doubt is our third one. We don't pronounce that B like many other of our words. That B is silent. 
Maybe the hardest of this grouping is that silent S in island. We don't want to hear that S pronounced. Island. Tricky, silent letter. And last for this video, and yes, there will be another, another with just five. The last word is pneumonia. Replay this video, practice pronouncing the words correctly and writing the words correctly. My name is Jane Lance. I want you to practice and I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we will be giving you five more words. And don't forget to look at the description to grab something special for you. I'm Jane Latz. Have a wonderful day.